Last week, we found the most viral Reddit posts in the Minecraft subreddit. And today, we're going to test them to see if they really work. This dude says you could kill the wither without actually touching it. Like, this this seems like game changing. Basically, this video is claiming that you can spawn wither sideways. I, I didn't even know that was possible. That in itself is crazy. But also, you can kill it in the end underneath where the end dragon is. It's kind of funny. Every time I build one of these nether portals, I get self-conscious. I'm going to build the wrong dimension. Someone's going to be like, bro, why'd you make it so tall? It's just, it's a, it's a fear of mine, all right? Why, why am I going to the, why am I even going to the nether? There's no, I, didn't mean to do that. So the way the hack goes is you ignore the end dragon, or maybe you've already killed it. I don't think it really matters. You go underneath this little bad boy here. So we'll clear this bad boy out real quick. And they put down obsidian in the middle. Like just pop into the obby down right here in the center. And they build it sideways, I guess, right here. What? You can actually make these things sideways? I don't know that. Okay, now supposedly the way this hack works is he's gonna spawn inside the bedrock and then just take damage and actually just die automatically. Oh, he's killing Enderman for us too. Even more items. So what he did is he spawned inside of the bedrock pillar. That's why he's taking damage. So the craziest thing is you can still hit him here. I mean, this is literally like the easiest thing I've ever seen. I didn't know you could do this. It's definitely not quick, but like it's pretty good. I mean, I'm literally abusing this wither right here and he is not even showing any signs of coming out. The best part is the items actually drop below this, which means you're perfectly safe to do this whenever you want. This is a fire out of 10. This one has 40,000 upvotes. This dude found a way to make zigzag fences. It's straight up vertical rails. Whoa, that's cool though. What? Whoa, hold up. This is actually legitimate here. All right, well, let's channel our inner Momo Jumbo and try to knock that bad boy out right here. I mean, I think that's actually it. Like, I think that's literally all you need to do. You don't, you don't gotta be a redstone expert. I mean, it's like six blocks. You, you literally can't beat this. So let's give it a shot. Well... Okay, two fast breaks it. So how, how do we, what am I doing wrong? Oh, I was using the wrong lever. That's why there's two levers. So now we should be able to come back this way and use this lever. <laughs> so now I think we got to break this and then do this way. And then it's just like opposites. <laughs> All right, that's long enough now to try to test it. Ooh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> that is not a good sign. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. This could work. Theoretically, we could have something. I'm going to try to take it real slow, though. I don't want to go too quick. Let's just push it without me in it. Come on, go. Oh, are you kidding me? No way. It actually worked. What can I say? This is beautiful. I know I said these were mind-blowing, and this one is mind-blowing just in a different way. All right, we're going to make a cow launcher. It just, how, how's this work? It just launches you out? What? Uh, so there's a bunch of cows in the water, but I'm not sure what else is going on here. So we're going to get a little bit nerdy here because I think the way this works is Minecraft has a limit called mob stacking. That's how many mobs can go into a single area. So like if you take like a bunch of like cows, for example, and we take a hole and we try to suffocate these bad boys, I'm pretty sure they're going to start dying after some number. There it is. Do you see that right there? That was 25, which is kind of cool. That's like a nice, even clean number. So I put one more. You can see cows are just like repeatedly dying down there. Actually, we've killed so many of them. And it actually just launched me out. I didn't even set this thing up yet. Look at this. Wait, I think we got, I, I think we got to get a few more in there. So anyway, the way this thing works, I think, is by using entity cramming, which means after a certain number, Minecraft just says we're going to kill it because there's so many down here. It should shoot you pretty far. There, like that, like that. You see that? It's launching me out. But the way this guy did it was make it entity cramming with water. That way he could bounce high and I think soul sand. I'm guessing. Let's see. I don't know if a cow can get out of this. Ah, he might be able to. I don't know. It's hard to, it's hard to match this thing upright. Like it, it, it's tricky. Maybe there was just water. That looks a little bit better. I think maybe there was just water, no soul sand. Oh, that one's not leaving. Okay, well, we've got our cows in there. Let's just get in and see what happens. See if we get launched out or anything. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. It launched us a little bit. That is, that's weird, but like to get the distance kind of hard. It's really just a matter of just getting completely lucky when you jump inside of it. Five out of 10 definitely works, but probably not something you want to do in your base. Now, this guy says five days ago, he learned how to fly without using firework rockets. He says you can double tap really hard while hitting the ground and move in a single sine wave. Let's see, maybe. Play, go, play, action. Why is this not, what is this? Hello, please play. All right, so he flies, bang. Oh wait, I've done this before. I don't know how, but I've done this. I, I do this all the time on accident. I know this does, I think, but I, did, I don't know how. I thought this was just like a glitch on my server. Dude. When I'm like bored, I'll jump on my world and just literally jump in circles to brainstorm. And so I'll do it and I'll just start flying and you bounce. And all you do is like spam your space bar. And I did it on accident, but you can literally go forever. Wow. That's so cool. Now, it's not as impressive here. Like, it doesn't, honestly, you're probably watching this like, Yo, Zach, I don't even see that useful. But it works really good on online servers because if you do an online server, for whatever reason, he keeps the momentum and you just like zoom wow. like forever and you just hold it down and it just keeps going. 10 out of 10. Speaking of cool, what if you could build upside down without using water? Like, you know how like sometimes you want to place a block like underneath, but like you got to place water and go down and then place it. This guy says he found another way to do it and it has 40,000 likes. What is it going to do? Oh, wait a minute. 
No way. You can place a block down without needing water by using two trap doors. This is actually game changing. You know the drill? Like you're out there playing one block sky block. It's a great fun game mode. By the way, watch my series on it after this if you haven't. But it's fun until you have to go down and make your base deeper. It's kind of a hard thing to do. This is what most people do. If you don't know real quick, just a little bit of a lesson for you. You've got to place water. Go down. That didn't work. You place water, you go down, then you place your block. It's pretty self explanatory. You all know how it works. Now, this one says you can use any trap door. So let's give her a shot. I don't know about this. This seems like sketchy to me for some reason. So, trap door, but at the bottom, just like that. A block next to it, trap door here. Maybe we have to shift click. Oh! Dude, that actually works, and it's not that difficult. This video is literally changing everything 50 billion out of a 10. And don't forget, guys, if you are learning new things, subscribe to me. I, I could have plugged that better. Just do it, please. Okay, please do it. Now, if that one wasn't mind-blowing enough for you, this one probably will be, okay? Because apparently, crops can be fertilized through the air. First off, sky bases are sick. Second off, if you're gonna make a crop in the sky base, you might as well use this cool glitch or whatever you want to call it. So, let's say we gotta put our water up just like this. Oh, we're, we, we already have a block placed down. Putting down the water, floating water inside the air, and this is much safer than these Earth dwellers, guys. We're living in the sky like futuristic people. Now, let's go ahead and put some farmland out here and not actually connect it and see what happens. <laughs> this is going to be really weird if it actually works. Like, I feel like I want even... Oh, it's working! Look at that! So you could do, like, an entire ring around the outside. That's actually two block spaces. So I could do this. Okay. <laughs> so now, to make it look even more weird, you're going to get rid of these corner blocks like that and then literally have a floating ring. Like, this looks futuristic, doesn't it? Like, this is what the future is right here. Maybe this is what the future looks like. Like, you got this, like, dangling thing in the sky that somehow, like, I don't know. It looks cool, all right? I don't know what this is, but I think it looks cool. Now, Reddit is coming to us now with a, an, a golem goes in, loot comes out, an instant golem farm. It's, again, I don't know why these clips are all so blurry. Reddit is not working with me well today, but this is kind of cool. I just don't know exactly how this works. Okay. Okay, so I have a guess. First thing we need is obviously a nether portal. I feel like you can't do this without one, so, you know. Call me genius, but we're gonna make that one first. And then what we want is water that's going to probably stop right next to it. I have not memorized how far water goes, so I'm not sure what this is gonna look like. Oh, that looks good. Okay, okay. Now, what you want above is probably like a golem breeding machine. If you don't know about those, we've covered that on the channel. I'm just going to spawn them in to make it easier. I don't want to make the whole breeding chamber. But what they're going to do is they're going to go and then get sent to the portal. And let's see, they're going to face this way. And somehow we have to immediately kill them. We want lava like right here. So like that is like the lava. So I'm assuming when they come through, they'd instantly hit that lava and maybe die. So th they're going to come in. Lava's here. This is going to collect the items. And then theoretically, it would connect to droppers which would spit the items back. This is kind of confusing because then you got to use some redstone to automate it. I don't like where this is going. It's getting a little bit much. It's going to come down. The hoppers into here. Droppers there. And... <laughs> this is getting a little bit weird. The idea, though, is that we're making like a circle. So it's going to collect the items, go down, get picked up by droppers, and then spit up, and then come back through the portal, maybe. I feel like there's a low chance it's going to work. I'll be honest with you. You know what actually could be happening? What if it doesn't actually kill them? What if it's all an illusion and what's actually happening is this? So what if they preload? I'm just, I don't know. This might be wrong. But what if they preloaded these droppers with the ingots and then these ingots shot through? And then every time a golem comes through, there is something that detects the golem that sends a signal to shoot back the iron. And the golems actually aren't really dying, maybe? Well, guys, I think I kind of got it, but mine's kind of messy and it's, I don't think this is the right way to do it, but mine should work, I think. Think. So I think ours works with any mob that drops items. So if I put a spider in here, obviously it's only going to spit back iron, but let's see what happens. Well, a spider might be too short, actually. Let's try it with a skeleton. Let's see if he's tall enough. I really don't know if it's going to work with anything. That took a long time to figure out. I'm not sure how I feel. Let's try again. What? Bro, get in the hole. Why is this literally impossible? I can't. I, I just, I, there's no way to get him in. All right. We got we to gotta just keep trying. This is working. All right. Here we go. See what happens. I think he's tall enough that it should work. We'll give it. We'll give us some time. He, he's dying. The dying process works. Me just waiting for an iron to shoot through this portal. Oh, there it is. There it is. We got the iron. It just came through. So it came out and then you can pick it up. So I'm pretty sure I did mine a little bit wrong, but it does work. It is functional. Two out of ten. So here's a pretty crazy trick. This guy with 43,000 upvotes named I Love Vinegar learned that you can turn any world into a hardcore <laughs> You can turn any world into a hardcore world by dying when you fall into the nether portal. So he's up top looking down into the ground and then says you die in the nether portal. So we're going in survival mode, jumping down. He died. Oh, he died while traveling to the nether. And then when that happens, you can't respawn. And so it makes your world hardcore. This is actually kind of scary because if you do this to someone, they'll never be able to respawn. I feel like the best way to do this would be, hear me out, create like a giant, very thick 
tunnel like this and set it all to obsidian and then dig a hole straight down right so we're just digging a straight down hole that way when you fall you're pretty much guaranteed to hit that one spot right there so i think this is going to work for us we're going to walk this way and we're just going to press forward and see what happens go into the portal i can't okay i can click respawn right now but let's see what happens oh look i mean i don't know i mean i can still click it but it's taking me back and forth like it, it kind of freezes up for a second but i can still i can still click it right i'm gonna click it and see what happens Okay, well, that obviously did not work for me. Now, there's a lot of MLGs, but you can MLG with flint and steel. Take a look at this. If you light the ground on fire, and again, I don't, I'm sorry about the quality. I don't know why it's doing that. What? You can jump up like three blocks high with flint and steel? How are they doing that? They're launching into the sky. What? So basically, he like jumped in their specific timing. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try it again. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Let's try it again. What is the right timing? Do you delay it? Oh, that was, oh, wait, wait, I think I had it. Oh, I got it, I got it. Look, 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 I think. Ready? I mean, it feels like it's setting me higher. Yeah, it is. So what you want to do is like jump, and then when you're in the air, take the damage, and that boosts you a little bit higher. So I'm going to see if we can jump like two blocks tall, like right here. I'm going to put it down and see if this is possible. No, don't do that. Don't walk into a corner. You got to really time it. <laughs> I didn't get it. His is going a lot farther, though, I feel like. Oh, I did it. I did it. Look at that. I did it. Oh, dude, that's actually sick. Put it next to this tree. Can I get up there? Okay, maybe maybe not like that. Let's try it again. Oh, boy. No. Oh, okay. Well, we'll assume that I could have if I had done it better. Now, this next one's pretty useful for, like, manhunt, all right? I think because apparently drip leaves let you stop people from chasing you. So if you're running on water and place drip leaves, you can bounce on them and run, but they break and then other people can't bounce on them. So people aren't going to be able to chase you as quickly. I'll be honest with you. I don't feel like these icons are it. They look... They look... They don't look right, do they? They don't look like the right Minecraft items to me. Something about them feels off. So we're in 1.7. So I believe this is what the drip leaf is. And it breaks. And then you can't stand on it. So let's see how hard this is. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Well, it's actually a lot less useful than I thought because it has to come from the ground. <laughs> so you can't really do that in an ocean. It has to be just one block deep. A pond that is only one deep. Okay, this might work. I mean, you got to be really careful about it. Okay, so... It works. I think it's good to have with you, but like the fact that you can only do it if it's one block deep kind of sucks because I mean, you can really kind of just run on the edges. I mean, you need a very specific type of water for this to work on. Two out of 10. But the newest version also has a hidden vine door you can use using maps and ladders. 60,000 upvotes. Look at this thing. So it looks like a bunch of maps on the wall or a bunch of uh, picture. Oh, a bunch of picture frames. He puts a white map over it and then vines right behind it. Wow. So then you could be able to climb it like without. Wow. That's actually sick. So you're going to put down your item frames. So you got to put the map down first. So I'm not going to use the white map. I'll just use this one because it'll still give a weird effect. And as you can see, we're putting down vines right behind this. So you can make it really whatever you want it to look like. Any design. You could actually design like a different style of ladder. Like you could make a map of a ladder and then put it here. And when you walk up to it and climb, it's going to let you go up. You could make a rope, a ladder, a vine, a swing, anything that lets you go up. Even like spider web. I mean, that's cool. All right, guys, this next hack's absolutely crazy. It's going to turn this block of copper into a block of gold. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button in three, two, one. Boom, it works. That was stupid. But guys, you're not stupid. So subscribe to this channel. See you guys tomorrow. Look that screen. Click here for more peace. <laughs>